welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this jp infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about how to install python 3.8 and also the libraries required for executing our project so kindly note this is for the people who purchase the project from us so we are using the version python 3.8 and also kindly note that in python you need to use the exact version of python or else you may get some errors while executing the project so you need to use the exact version of the python and the exact version of the libraries that we have used during the developing the project so first let us see how to install python 3.8 so first go to the google and if you type python you can see this python.org website so this is the official website for the python and once if you go to the python.org you can see downloads and once if you click that you can see the latest version of the python but kindly note that you should use only the exact version of the python for every particular project which is developed on the same version so we are using python 3.8 so you need to go to the version of python 3.8 so here you can see the other releases of the python and just scroll down where you can see the older releases of the python so where you can find the python version 3.8 so just scroll down so where you can find this uh, version python 3.8 and you can just click it and download it or you can use the url this this is the same url from the python.org website so just paste it this url so it will be downloading the version of python 3.8 and just click save so now you can see the python 3.8 is downloaded which is around 26.2 mb so just double click it and now you can see the install python where you can see the down uh, add python 3.8 to path which is not checked now so first thing is like you need to check this one and now you can see two options install now and customize install so in install now you can see includes idle pip and documentation so pip is very important so once if you are not installed pip you cannot able to install the libraries of the python so where you can see some errors like uh, um, pip is unrecognized kind of uh, errors so if you just see this customized installation where you can see the pip option is being selected so you can select that and you can do it or you can just click this install now option so in customize all the things are being selected so this is the better option and now let me click next and you can uh, select the all the options whichever is required and you can see the location this is the location where it is going to install so kindly note this location so if you wanted to install or uninstall anything you can just use this location so and let me install and click yes and now you can see the setup is being progress so now you can see the message setup was successful so python has been set properly and now let me close now go to your command prompt now type python space hyphen hyphen version and click enter and now you can see the python 3.8.0 is being installed so once if you are not installed it will not show this one before installing you can check it out or if you are having some other version it will be showing that version and as we have installed the python 3.8 it is showing the python version 3.8 now coming to the important point that is installing the libraries for the project so now we are going to install these libraries so these are all the libraries i'm going to install and show you and kindly note that for it is not mandatory to install all these libraries i'm going to show this only for the demo purpose of how to install library guide so 
kindly check your project folder where you can find the requirement folder and only install those requirements which is mentioned in your project so in case if this is your project here you can see the requirements file and you need to install only the version the mentioned python libraries in it and don't need to require all these i'm going to show so i'm going to show you on the demo purpose only so now let us start with installing the numpy and kindly note that here you can see the versions of the libraries once if you are giving only the numpy it will install the latest numpy so there may be some conflict while executing your project so once if you are specific with the version you need to mention that version so now let us see how to install the python library so first let us go to the idle so here you can see idle python 3.8 so this is to check whether this model is already been available or not so this is the first time i have installed python 3.8 so it will not be available but for your reference i am showing you how to check it so just type the keyword import and give space and you can check which which library you have or not so let us type num5 for our case and click enter and here you can see the error module not found error no module name num5 which means that num5 is not installed in this pc so first let me go to the command prompt so here type the command pip so we all know that pip is a default keyword that is used for installing any package because this is the package installer for python so any package if you wanted to install you need to use the keyword pip and then type the uh, which which library you wanted so first let me type numpy so once if you give pip sorry and type pip install numpy so once if you give this pip install numpy it will install the latest version of the numpy but the problem is in every project we have used some different version so only you need to use the exact version of the numpy so once if you go to the requirements file you can find the version that we have used so just copy that numpy version and so just type pip install numpy equal to equal to 1.21.5 and then click enter this is the command to install the exact version of the library with the exact version so here you can see it is collecting the data so kindly note that you should have an internet connection connected to it while installing any package because it will be downloading the required files from the internet only and now you can see the pip the numpy has been installed successfully. so you can see successfully installed numpy 1.2 1.5 and here you can see some warning of uh, using the pip latest version so you can just uh, ignore it so it is not mandatory so our requirement is to install the numpy exact version that has been done now so now let us go to the next library so next let us go install pandas so just use the before that let me go to that uh, uh, idle and show you so earlier we would have seen that numpy was not there now let me show you import numpy command and then click enter and now you can see it is entered into the module it is not showing the error which we have shown before module not found error and which means that numpy has been installed successfully so in this way you can check for each and every libraries i'm not going to show each and every one import pandas import flask because i'm not installing anything this is the first time i have installed so you can check with that one so now let us go to the next so i'm typing the command pip install which is a default one and then the copied one that is pandas equal to equal to 1.4.2 so whichever version you wanted just replace that version here by mentioning so i'm clicking enter and now you can see it is collecting the required file for the pandas and now you can see successfully install pandas version also and now let us go to the next that is flask so just type pip install 
flask and the version of it and then enter and now you can see you successfully installed the flask version and also some other versions of it and now let us move to the next part that is scikit-learn So just type the command pip install scikit-learn on the exact version of the scikit-learn and then click enter. So it is downloading the required files for the scikit-learn. So now you can see the message successfully installed scikit-learn and also the some other libraries on which is required for it. And now let us go to the next library that is matplotlib. I'll just type pip install matplotlib and the version of it and click enter. So you can see the other libraries which is also installed for this mat plot live so you can see the message successfully install message for this mat plot live and also the other libraries required for it and now let us go to the next one that is below so just type pip install below and the so now you can see the message successfully install below and now let me go to the other library beautiful soap 4 so just type pip install beautiful soap 4 on the version of it so now you can see successfully installed beautiful soap 4 next i'm going to install this google search python so just type pip install and then click enter So now you can see successfully installed the Google search Python and also the other required libraries for it. Now let me go to the next one who is library. So just type pip install who is. So you can see successfully installed who is library also. Now let me go to the other one. So here you can see this is already available. So it is showing that requirement already satisfied and also installed successfully. And now let me go to the request library. So just type pip install request and click enter. So here you can see it is already available and so it is showing the details of it whichever thing that is available with the location of it so you can ignore it and now let us see about uh, the other library keras so just go to the command prompt and type pip install keras on the required version of it and click enter so you, here you can see uh, the requirement is already satisfied which means keras is already installed and let me go to the other one pip install click and you can see successfully install click and let me go to the flask mysql db so just type pip install flask mysql db and you can see successfully installed flask mysql db and let me so just if you type pip installed you can see so you can see successfully installed it's dangerous if you wanted to install this g just to just type pip install 
and you can see it has been installed successfully now markup safe now you can see it has been installed successfully now let me go to mysql client part so just type pip install mysql client the version you can see it is successfully installed and next one is pip install work zoom so now you can see already there was some other version which is higher version now even if you're giving the low exact version lower version it is converted so it is uninstalled the existing higher version and it is installed the the version that you have prescribed for it and let me install libroza you can see it is successfully installed the version of the Librosa which we have mentioned and final I'll show you with efficient net library and now you can see it is successfully installed the efficient net library also so in this way you can just check which is the requirement that is mentioned in the project folder and install the exact version of the library which is mentioned in it and in this way you can just install python and the libraries for your final year project and thank you for watching